All right, it is time now for me versus my brother draft format. Drafting Elestrals is some of the most fun I've ever had playing Elestrals. Similarly to Duel Knight. I mean, how fun is Duel Knight? It's the same thing with Elestrals. You get to draft through these. So what me and my brother did is we took all the Elestrals, all the runes, we combined it together, shoved, put them into 10 parts. It's 54 piles of 10. So we just took two of the piles, 10 piles of 27. We took four of the piles, combined it 54 each, and we're just picking one by one. So we're just drafting one by one. Incredibly fun, uh, building a deck together. My deck that I'm going to end up building right here is a deck that's focused on High Drake, Twindra, and Pen Terror. And then as many Illustrals as humanly possible to search the High Drake to get to that combo. I then want to save High Drake, Twindra, and Pen Terror for a big shot. And I want to get as many toolbox Illustrals as possible. Illustrals I could destroy a monster or a smaller trap or a defense or anything like that. Whether it's a defense or attacks, little by little, while I slowly beat my, my brother. And I also am really focusing on high attack Illustrals. I think enchantment costs of one with high attack, such as Sorir or Necroff, are incredibly powerful. They're five attack with enchantment costs of one. That's absurd. I think that's overly powerful in this format. So I'm really focusing on those. Uh, so I'm excited to see this. Uh, let's get straight into it. If you guys love Illustrals, gameplay i know you guys might be confused on how to play you guys can always check out the gameplay tutorials on my channel as well as on the lustros youtube channel and if you guys want to pick up your starter decks as well uh pick up your starter decks while you guys can this is the last gameplay video we're going to do for a while so check out the starter decks in the kickstarter they're founders edition that's like limited edition essentially and you guys can learn how to play so we can play together i uh, i need new victims i love this game i'll continually be playing this game after my my sponsorship is done with them i love the, i genuinely love the game so make sure to get your starter decks while you can I would love to talk about Lestros more on YouTube because I, I love the game. So let's get straight into the duel. Now it's time for the duel. Me versus my brother with our drafted decks. These are not no starter decks. We drafted them together. And they're actually like incredibly fun. I, I love it. So I'm going to be going first here. I'm going to be going for Elechick. This card will allow me, uh, when I cast an Elechick, I can search my deck for a one wind spirit Elastral. So I search for Hydric because it will get me into my combo of Hydric, into Twindra, into Pentair. However, I do not want to cast and normal enchant my hydrate soon I, I i want to wait my brother is going to activate nectar of the gods which is literally just one of the best cards in this entire game of elestros it's like pot of greed however it does require an enchantment cost of two and that is a high cost so my elechek just hit the underworld so now it's okay i have my hand is insane as i said earlier i made sure to draft as many high attack elestros as possible here look at this uh enchantment cost of one with five attack this to me is absurd this is going to be very easy to defeat my brother with because when you can normal enchant a, a attack of five in this game with the with enchantment cost of one even if there's no effect this is just crazy sorlet is one of the best elestros in this entire game like it looks like ratata and pokemon but so that's why you wouldn't think it's good but it's like a pig version you wouldn't think it's good but it's actually insane here my brother is forced i think this laurels card is, is wild as well uh, my brother's rune, he just casted it for an enchantment cost of one, essentially gets rid, uh, destroys one Olestro on my field, just like that. So it's good on my brother to recognize that. However, uh, I I did a trick there, okay? I tricked my brother there, just like in Yu-Gi-Oh. So you guys know that I searched a Hydric from my deck to my hand. Hydric's effect is like Mystic Tomato. When it gets destroyed by battle, it gets its effect, uh, which uh, will allow me to special enchant a Twindra from my deck. And then when that gets destroyed by battle, I get special enchant a my boss monster, which is Pen Terror. But I knew while we were drafting that my brother had a lot of resting of the laurels. Two or three resting on your laurels in his deck. So this card, I mean, this, this rune is insane. It's just for enchantment cost of one, destroys a card. So uh, destroys an Elestral. So I, let, I baited him into destroying my Sorlet. So I can now trigger my high drake on my turn by crashing into his own illustrials i'm ahead of the game here that was my that was my strategy so let's see if it's going to pay dividends so my brother casts uh, an illustral with an attack of four it has a, a powerful nexus ability however he has no spirits to nexus so it just becomes an attack of four illustral luckily for my deck i have plenty of illustrials that could cry, uh, destroy his so what i do now he fell from my trap i i cast my Hydrake to crash into his Elestral, special enchanting my Twindra for free, just like that. And then attacking a spirit deck for expending two spirits. Amazing. 
Now my brother is forced to deal with this Twindra now, or else he loses. And of course my brother has his Laurel card. Why is this card so good? I baited my brother to, to waste uh, his first uh, Laurel. Now he uses the second. That's fine. I mean, it's a little unfortunate, but it's okay. It's my turn now. So I cast my Foamy. Uh, by casting my Foamy, I kept uh, enchantment cost of one. I have a floater. That's a term in Yu-Gi-Oh. So like uh, having, a, I really believe in this game, being able to special enchant is insane. That's special summoning in Yu-Gi-Oh, special enchanting, because you only have one normal enchant per, per turn. So that's why I baited my brother with the Foamy. I allowed my brother to destroy my Foamy, Foamy triggering Foamy's special effect, which will special enchant another Foamy from my deck. So now I have free Illustros on my field. So because I have the free Illustros on the field, I can just continually uh, cast more once per turn to just destroy my, my brother. So Sorlet, again, cards like this in this format with just, it seems so simple. It's like summon, it's like uh, playing Celtic 2000 attack beaters in, in 2002 Yu-Gi-Oh. It's, this is the beginning. There's no cards in Alestros that are like absurdly broken. You know, there's no Alestral or Rune that's like auto win on the spot. So cards like Sorlet in this is so basic, but so good, so powerful, Alestros like that. So now my, my, my Sorlet is misenchanted, but I don't care for its effect. Uh, even my Vertaqua is misenchanted here, but it doesn't matter. I'm just simply casting. I want to have as many Alestros on my field as possible. Three Alestros currently. So my brother needs to deal with this. I have cards in my hand that are toolbox Alestros that could one by one out any Alestro my brother has. So my brother just uh, casted an Alestro of in defense with five defense. My Vertaqua is misenchanted, which means it cannot use its effect. However, I have another Vertaqua in my hand, so it doesn't even matter. So now I cast my other Vertaqua to destroy his Alestro via its effect. And his Alestro has an ability that any Alestro that it gets destroyed by, uh, by battle, it turns to zero attack. However, I destroy it by effect, like Kataster in Yu-Gi-Oh. And now my brother has a spirit deck of two. There's nothing you can do now. He has two, I have 15. I built a superior deck. My brother wants to go out on his own terms. So he uses, a, he casts a rune that expands a cost of two for him, but three for me. And that doesn't matter. I'm gonna, he wanted to go out on his own terms. That's game. That's a GG. Oh, I love this game. I, I, I want to keep playing this game. I love this game, guys. Uh... At first, this game started as an ad for the first few videos, and then eventually, as I kept playing Alestros, I realized that it truly is an amazing game, and I don't want to stop playing it. So if you guys are involved in Alestros, message me on Discord. I want to continue playing this game. I genuinely develop joy playing this game. So if you guys ever want to play Alestros, just let me know on Discord, or let me know in the comments. I'm down to play with you guys. I love this game. I'm very curious to see how it goes. This will be the last gameplay video, sadly, that we do for now. For now, until I become a Lustros World Champ- OW! Until I become a Lustros World Champion. So make sure, guys, to check out the Lustros link down below for the to join the Kickstarter. Get some starter decks. I think Pen Terror is the best starter deck. I think it's insane. To be able to go Hydric, Twindra, Pen Terror whenever you want. Not right away, but if you save for the perfect timing, crash into the opponent's Lustros and destroy them, it's truly insane. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.